using charpitz method using charpitz method find the complete integral of pxy plus pq plus qy equal to yz here this is an nonlinear uh, pde since it has the term p into q right now here here f of x equal to f of x x y z p q equal to p x y plus p q plus q y minus y z is equal to zero. Now we will find uh, we have char charpitz auxiliary equation is p x by minus f p d y by minus f q d z by minus f p f f minus p f p minus q f q and d p equal to d x d p divided by f x plus p f z equal to d q divided by f y plus q z now we will find out uh, what is f p so f p is equal to we are differentiating this with respect to p then if you differentiate that with respect to p you will get x y plus q and all other terms are independent uh, all other terms are uh, constants we are only differentiating with respect to p now we will find out what is f q f q is we are differentiating this with respect to q then you will get p q derivative with respect to q is p uh, and plus plus the derivative of i q is y okay now we will find out what is fx we are differentiating this with respect to <coughs> x then we, we will consider all other terms are constant now that is equal to py plus here is only x term is there so py now we will differentiate with respect to y if y is only terms here is pxy so px and we differentiate q to y so you will get plus q and what is fz fz is here only one term so minus y now now we will uh, we will check the equation so this is so this is uh, okay minus if p is equal to so minus if p is equal to p is this therefore minus dx by minus xy a plus q and dy by f f uh, f q is this minus minus p plus y dz minus p into x y plus q minus q into p plus y dp divided by uh, what is f x yes, dp divided by f x p y plus q into fz q into minus y now uh, now we will find out what is okay so then there is one more thing dq divided by here uh, what is uh, fy fy is px plus q minus z plus q into f z minus y so that is now now we will get here from him from this from this we will have dp divided by dp divided by py minus py which implies dp is equal to 0 which implies p is a constant so we get value of p so p is constant p equal to a now we 
substitute a in equation number one so what is equation number one one is uh, okay. equation number one is one is in this equation if we replace p by p by p by a then we will get uh, then we will get uh, then we will get here here uh, a x y plus a q plus q y equal to y z now from here we can take q common that is q into a plus y is equal to you take out this term here that is ax uh, yz minus ax now this is q into a plus y is equal to you can take y common z minus y into z minus a so that we get got here and from here we will get q equal to y into z minus ax all divided by a plus y so we get uh, p and q in terms of x y z now we will uh, we know that for z of x y dz is equal to p dx plus q dy so we will substitute values of p and q here so if we substitute uh, values of p and q p and q then we will get uh, then we will get uh, dz is equal to a dx plus y into z minus ax divided by a plus y dy. Now, from here, from here, we can take uh, d, which implies dz minus a dx all divided by z minus ax is equal to is equal to a plus is equal to uh, here uh, the remaining thing is y divided by a plus y y divided by a plus y into dy okay so now this implies this can be written as d derivative of z minus ax so derivative of z minus ax is dz minus a dx divided by divided by divided by z divided by z minus ax is equal to this can be written as 1 minus a by a plus 1 d1 because 1 minus a by a plus y is equal to a plus y minus a by a plus y which is equal to y by a plus y so that is zero now now this term this can this will be integrable okay so because this is derivative now if you integrate this you will get uh, dz by d of z minus ax divided by z minus ax is log z minus ax and derivative of this that is this y minus a log y plus some constant log b therefore if you take exponential on both sides you will get uh, z minus a x equal to e raised to y uh, e raised to y e raised to y minus a log 
ax plus y plus log b. So if you then you will get uh, you will get z minus ax is equal to ax equal to e raised to y minus minus so this can be written as e raised to y into e raised to log a plus y all raised to a into e raised to log b so this can be written as e raised to log b is b into e raised to y what is e raised to log a plus y all raised to I think here there is minus minus so this is the answer.